When you're using your brand new MetaQuest, the people around you might get a little bit jealous because whilst you're having great fun unleashing vengeance on bad guys in Batman Arkham Shadow, they're probably secretly hoping you lose the game so that they can have a go. Well, to solve the problem and buy yourself a little bit more game time, here are six ways to let the people around you in on the action by casting what you can see to the big screen. Number one. So the first and most convenient way to cast to your TV is via Chromecast. First, ensure your TV and the Quest headset are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And if your router does have a dedicated five gigahertz network, use that one. Now put on the MetaQuest headset and you should see your universal menu bar across the bottom of your field of view. Here you'll see a camera icon. Click on that and within the camera window, you will see the option to cast. So click on that. Now, if your TV shows up here, you're in luck. You can simply click on the TV name and this will instantly mirror what you can see to that TV. And the audio from the MetaQuest headset will also be passed to the TV. So if you have a nice sound setup, you can turn down the volume on the MetaQuest headset and use the loudspeakers instead. But here's an important side note. Not all TVs with Chromecast built in will support this, unfortunately. And if your TV does not show up here automatically, all is not lost. There's still five more methods to try in this video, including one very simple solution. Anyway, number two, like before, make sure your TV and Quest are on the same network. This is very important. Now, assuming you have a smart TV, check the installed apps on that TV to see if you have a web browser. If you don't have an installed web browser, it's definitely worth checking your app store on your smart TV to see if you can download and install one. Now, if you can't find a web browser or you can't install one, you might as well skip to number three in this video. So once you've got a web browser set up on your smart TV, type in this web address into the browser, oculus.com forward slash casting. And I would recommend you bookmark this page if you can so that you can get to it easier in the future. Once loaded up, you'll then need to log into your Meta account. Make sure it's the same Meta account that you log into the headset with. Put on the Meta Quest and once again, on the bar across the bottom, otherwise known as the universal menu, tap on that camera icon again and go to cast and tap on computer in the cast menu. Now, the great thing about this method is that it can work pretty much on any device that has a web browser, but there is a chance that the browser on your TV might block it. Also, your modem might have some restrictions to prevent it from streaming to that particular TV. So if this method doesn't work, don't give up. There's still more methods to try, and I'm sure you're gonna find the perfect one for you. Number three. So if you happen to have an Amazon Fire Stick or Fire Cube lying around, well, you can stream the Quest to it. It doesn't have Chromecast built in, but there's a handy app that you can use to solve the problem. To set this up, plug your Fire Stick or Fire Cube into the TV, navigate to the Fire Stick's app store and search for the app called Air Screen. That's one word. This app is free to use and you can mirror any device to it including iPhones. And it works in a very similar way to the web browser method in the sense that it creates a private web portal between the Quest and the Fire Stick. So once you've got AirScreen loaded up on your TV, you'll now see a QR code and just above the QR code, you'll see a web address. Now put your MetaQuest on and in the universal menu bar across the bottom of your field of view, you will see the web browser. If you don't see it here, you can go to all apps and you'll find it there also. Now within the Meta web browser, you need to key in that web address that's above the QR code on the air screen page on your TV. And make sure you leave out the HTTPS bit. Just start with the numbers, otherwise it gets confused sometimes. Once you've done that, you need to accept consent to this on the TV screen. And now you're nearly ready to start casting. The last step, just like before, with the MetaQuest on, go to the camera icon found in the universal menu bar, tap cast. And now within this little pop-up menu, you should see the Fire Stick air screen app in that list, the same way that you would see a Chromecast device. Now this method does support audio, but one little downside here is the noticeable one second delay on the audio. So if you do wanna make use of the audio kit that's connected to the TV, it might be better to connect to it via Bluetooth. Number four. Okay, the fourth option is much easier than the Fire Stick method in my opinion. However, it involves picking up an official Google Chromecast dongle, and I would recommend you get the newest one as some of the older Chromecast devices might not work with the Quest Anymore. And this, just like the Fire Stick, is not just useful for MetaQuest. It can pretty much turn any monitor or TV into a smart TV. And the bonus here, of course, is it does open the door 
to MetaQuest screen sharing via Chromecast. One of the reasons I like this method is it doesn't require any additional apps. And once again, just make sure the Quest and the Chromecast are on the same network. So once you've checked your Wi-Fi networks, go back to the MetaQuest and the Universal menu, hit the camera icon and tap Cast. And now you should see your Chromecast device in the list. Now, if it's not showing up, a little trick here is to hold the power button down on the MetaQuest headset and restart it. And that way it cuts off any links that it might have to your phone or other devices in your house, and then it should show up. Now, if you've got an older Chromecast and for whatever reason it doesn't show at all, then using your Chromecast, you can download a web browser to it and then use method two from this list. And hopefully that will solve that problem. Number five, so in general, one of the most effortless ways to screencast from the Quest to a device is to use the Meta Horizon app on your phone or tablet. It's incredibly easy to do. Just install the app on your device, log in with your Meta account, and make sure it's the same one you use on your Quest headset. And then within the app, the Quest headset will be shown in the top left corner. If you tap that, you'll then be given the option to cast. Now you're streaming directly to that phone or tablet and the audio from the headset does also stream across to that device. Now this might be good enough for a lot of people, but since this video is all about how to cast to the big screen, there is one more step involved to get that working. So while your Quest is streaming to your phone or tablet, bring down your quick settings or control panel on iOS and find your screen mirroring setting. And whatever you do, do not close down the Meta Horizon app in the background. Once you tap screen mirroring, you will see devices on your network that you can mirror to. So once again, I'm gonna say it, even though I've said it a hundred times, make sure your devices are all on the same network, otherwise it will mess this up completely. Once you set this up, it does actually work surprisingly well. And even more so if your home internet signals are good, there is a little bit of audio delay using this method, but it's not gonna ruin the gameplay. Now here's a little side note. If you're streaming to an iPhone or an iPad and your TV does not support AirPlay, well then maybe number six on this list will be better for you. So honestly, apart from the Chromecast method, this is probably the next easiest option. If you have a laptop computer, fire up the Chrome browser and the Chrome browser seems to be the best for this. And just like tip two in this list, navigate to oculus.com forward slash casting and log into your MetaQuest account. Now with the Quest on, go to the camera icon again and go to cast and cast to computer and this will begin the streaming to your laptop. Now, hopefully you have a laptop computer with a HDMI port built in. If you do, simply plug your laptop into your TV using a HDMI cable, and now you'll be able to see your MetaQuest on the big screen. And if you don't happen to have a HDMI port on your laptop, you can pick up a cheap USB-C or USB-A to HDMI dongle. And I have recommended a couple of different ones in the description below. Those are affiliate links, use them if you want. So here's a little heads up for you guys before you go ahead and start buying any MetaQuest games from the Horizon Store. Check out my official MetaQuest game discounts in the description. And if you don't own a MetaQuest just yet, there is a promo link for some free Meta cash with your purchase, but only if you use that link. And if you're undecided about which Meta Quest to get, check out this thumbnail that's on screen right now. It's my review of the latest and most affordable Meta Quest at the time of this video versus the other Quest models that are out there right now. And if this video did help you, make sure you are subscribed because I am working on another tips and tricks video for the Meta Quest headsets. And those ones are designed to help you unlock their full potential. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man and I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.